Greetings YouTube, the doctor is in. Dr. Urius Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Dungeons and Dragons. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or comment. All right, it is time for another installment of the doctor's spell prognosis. And today we're talking about the, the cantrip message. I know this is not a spell, it's a cantrip, but it is the next one in our list. All right, message is a cantrip. It has a one action casting time. It's usable by bard, sorcerers, wizards, and artificers. So clerics and druids don't get it, um, but the arcane casters, almost all of them, there's no warlock here either, uh, but bard, sorcerers, and wizards, artificers get it. It has a range of 120 feet, so it's actually a pretty long range. It does use all three spell components, which uses a short piece of copper wire. Uh, it has a duration of one round, and um, it it's basically... A communication uh, tool that players can use this is again this is not a completely necessary spell for every party but it is extremely helpful anytime I have a caster that can take the spell I always take the spell there's a couple of spells I always take in, in utility I take mage hand I take this one and I usually try to take mending um, and then I usually have one or two attack cantrips um, depending on the character build that I'm doing so um, this one, you point your finger at a creature within range. You don't have to see it. Um, and that only the target, and it has that in parentheses there, hears the message and can reply with a whisper that only you can hear. So even though it's a whisper, it's, it's basically like mental telepathy. No one else can hear this. So you can cast this through solid objects if you're familiar with the target and know it is behind a barrier. So if you've got a rogue who is scouting ahead of the party, and um, they go into another room or they're, you're in a forest and you can't see them and they're, they're far ahead. As long as they're within 120 feet, you can communicate with them uh, if you know them. Um, same thing with anybody else in the party as well. So that's a really important tool. And then it gives you the, uh, the parameters that you, you know, you're stuck with. So uh, one foot of stone, one inch of metal a thin sheet of lead. So a thin sheet of lead, you can actually communicate through a thin sheet of lead. A thick, I, I guess I don't know what the difference between a thin sheet and a thick sheet is because they don't define it. So um, I would say a thin sheet of lead is probably like paper thin and anything thicker than that is thick. And then three feet of wood. And um, like most houses and things are not three foot thick walls. Um, and the spell doesn't have to follow a straight line and can travel freely around corners or through openings. Again, you got that rogue or the ranger or somebody's going ahead that's stealthy because you're not stealthy and they're, um, they're scouting ahead, you can communicate with them. And uh, because of the way that the setup of combat begins, and uh, many, many people miss this with the surprise rules, um, if someone is successfully stealthing and the opponents do not see them with their passive perception then um, then there's going to be surprise. And this can be relayed back via message, um, which, is, which is just awesome. So, you know, somebody could go ahead, they could uh, scout out, they could tell you wh exactly what's there. You can relay that to the rest of the party, even though you all are 100, and, 100 feet or 110 feet away. And then you can set up uh, a battle plan to gain surprise. So this becomes a, a very um, necessary tool for that. In addition, it has a lot of role play flavor um, and social interaction where you could speak to somebody and only somebody and, um, and you know, maybe somebody might see your lips move. You can do it stealthily so you can make a stealth roll and, you know, everybody else couldn't see it. And so you could be, you know, if you're doing some negotiations or things, you could be uh, talking you via message. It's a cantrip. So you can cast it as much as you want, which is great. All right, that's what I got for you today. I hope everybody enjoyed it, and I will.